My name is Steve Yallo. I'm a travel vlogger from the United States. For the past two weeks, I've been driving this tuk-tuk around Sri Lanka. And in this video, I want to talk about my experience, what it's like to drive this thing, and how you can do something similar. Welcome inside my tuk-tuk. So let's just first start with explaining what a tuk-tuk actually is. In Sri Lanka, this is probably the most common vehicle you'll see on the street. It's called a tuk-tuk here in Sri Lanka, but in some other areas, people refer to them as rickshaws. But whatever you call it, these things are fun to drive. For me, the best things are the freedom and the convenience of having your own vehicle to drive around. So you're not restricted to a train or bus schedule, and you can drive anywhere you want. And that is something special. The fact that you can pretty much go anywhere and you're able to travel off the beaten track, which as a traveler has its own personal benefits, but it has so many other benefits beyond your personal enjoyment. Yeah, it's great to feel like you're going on an adventure and exploring areas you didn't even know existed. But by traveling off the beaten track, this is a great way to give back to local communities. When you stop at local shops and restaurants and spend money at these places, it actually does have a positive impact on the local community, which is great because you get to enjoy something by traveling to places that are different. And then the community also appreciates that too because cha-ching, you're spending some money there. So it's a win-win. So I got this Tuk Tuk through a company called Tuk Tuk Rental and their business structure is one that I really admire. They don't actually own these Tuk Tuks themselves. How they operate is they work with locals, so local families will own these tuk-tuks. So it's nice because your money, a portion of your money that you're paying is actually going to support local families and local communities. And I think that's a really good initiative. And the company Tuk Tuk Rental makes it so easy to sort everything out. And my biggest concern before I rented this was my driver license and the fact that I did not have an international driver license so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to legally drive this thing. But as it turns out, if you are a foreigner and you have a license to operate a vehicle in your home country, then you're good. The Tuk Tuk Rental Company will actually organize everything for you. So you just submit some things on their website, like a photo of your license and some other information, and they actually get you a temporary license to drive a Tuk Tuk here in the country so you are a licensed driver everything is completely legal and registered and it's super easy the company takes care of everything for you if you are interested in coming to Sri Lanka this is such a unique way to travel I highly recommend it it's been an amazing journey for me so far that was a giant elephant what the heck that's the second elephant I've seen within five minutes I am freaking out a little bit <laughs> So if you're interested in checking out what it's like to rent one of these, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the Tuk Tuk Rental Company's website. And if you do decide to go with the Tuk Tuk, then you could use this code Steve Yellow, one word, no spaces, for a pretty juicy discount. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for a little lesson about how to drive a Tuk Tuk in Sri Lanka. Actually, I don't want to get into the extreme details of everything you need to know because if you if you really want to rent one of these, Tuk Tuk Rental will give you a nice lesson and everything you need to know about how to drive it. But I just kind of want to show you what it's like from my perspective for someone who's never driven one before and, and show anyone who's interested in seeing what it's like to drive a Tuk Tuk. So, first of all, when you come in, there is not a steering wheel like a car, but a handlebar similar to a motorcycle, but it doesn't drive like a motorcycle because it has three wheels. So turning is very different and you have to be aware of that. And when you sit down, you see some things immediately. You see this little handle over here. This is called a clutch. If you've driven a manual vehicle before, you probably know what this is. If you've never driven a manual vehicle, like an ignorant American foreigner like me, a clutch is something you need to squeeze when you shift gears. And on the floor is the brake and it's not like a brake in the car where it's all electric. This actually uses brake fluid every time you pump in there. So it's a, it's a little different and you have to 
kind of pump it a little bit to make it a little bit stronger. So the first pump is not as strong as the second pump and the third pump and the more you push it, the more of a break you get. So I mean, that's just like a basic what you see when you get in. Uh, you also have a, a handbrake on the right side over here. And you can also put this thing in reverse if you want to as well. That, that's the reverse bar. I actually like to cheat. You just make sure you're in neutral. This thing really isn't that heavy, so you can just push like this. And you can get yourself out of any situation. But don't push it over the cliff, because you don't want your tuk-tuk rolling away on you. So that's a, just a brief introduction as to the functions of how to drive it. But now, what do you say we actually go for a ride? and see what it's like to drive this thing on the road. Let's go. So now I'm in neutral, and I have to shift up to go into first gear. So as I do that, I'm gonna shift up, and as I let off the clutch, I'm gonna start accelerating, and then we're gonna start moving, baby. That's how we do it. And you can't go very fast in first gear, so you're gonna have to quickly switch to second gear. You skip over neutral, go to second, and now we're driving. We're going at a nice speed now. All right, all right, it's pretty sweet, but we're going faster, which means we're gonna have to shift again. And boom, shifted, and now I'm in third gear. And when you shift, you have to hold down the clutch and let go of the accelerator. See, I just learned all of this. I don't know how to drive a manual car, but now I do. And you have to watch out for cows, because everywhere you drive in Sri Lanka, there are cows on the road. So if I wanna go a little bit faster, hold on, wait, we're gonna pass another cow, so we wanna stay slow. Be cautious of cows. Cows and motorcycles everywhere. And this lady wants a ride, but sorry, we're a little busy. I'm only in third gear now. I have one more gear. If I want to go faster, I would switch to fourth, but I'm not ready for that yet because I got a main road coming up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to downshift because I want to go slower. So now I'm in second gear. And second gear should be enough. You could go down to first, but you can actually still stay in second gear at a stop and accelerate fine. I'm gonna go to the left lane. So as I accelerate, I'm gonna let go of the clutch and I'm starting to move. There we go. Now I'm on the main road. And something different here in Sri Lanka is the fact that people drive on the left side of the road. I'm from America. We don't do that. That's different. So now I'm driving. We got some more cows over here. Cows are everywhere. Bump. Little bumps. Gotta watch out for bumps. So now I'm in third gear and you can hear it. The biggest thing you do, you have to listen. And it's yelling at you like, ah, you gotta change gears. So now, I grab the clutch, I go to fourth, I start accelerating, I let go of the clutch, and we are smooth. And this is top gear. And the speed limit here for a tuk-tuk is 40 kilometers per hour. But I like to push it sometimes. I can go to 50. Other, after that, it's not really, not really made to drive very fast. So if I'm going on a, on a highway and it's an open road, I could probably hit 50 kilometers an hour and no one's gonna get mad at me and I, I can't really go much faster than that because this, this thing's not made to go fast. Whoa. You also gotta make sure you're looking at where you're going. But yeah, that's about it. So one of the great things about driving a tuk-tuk is the fact that you can stop anywhere you want and here in Sri Lanka they have fresh coconuts everywhere. So since you're not on a bus or a train you can just stop and pull over and get some these. Cheers, man. It's a funny story, we're just enjoying this coconuts over here and he came up to me, don't run away, come back over here. He said, hey, I saw you, uh, your video on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. Ron, do you know? Yeah. Rohan. Rohan. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. If you haven't seen the video he's talking about, I'll link it right there. But basically I made a video recently talking about the biggest question I've been getting here is it safe to travel in Sri Lanka? So if you want to see my answer, I also interviewed a bunch of other travelers, foreigners, so go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. For now, we're gonna enjoy these coconuts, get back in the tuk-tuk, and I'll catch you somewhere else. To be honest, like I said in the beginning, my favorite part about driving a tuk-tuk is the freedom you have with travel, because you can go anywhere, at any time. Everyone's so curious, people looking at you, especially tuk-tuk drivers. When they say you, when they see you, they're usually so curious, and people always stop and smile and wave and ask questions, and it's just incredible. I love driving a tuk-tuk, loving Sri Lanka. Again, if you want any more information about how to rent a tuk-tuk, I'll leave a link in the description of this video down below, so you can check that out. 
and that's it. If you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, leave me a like, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Wait, also just want to mention how I do have a pretty epic series about Sri Lanka coming out. Hello, bye. See, locals just saying hi. Actually, he said bye. <laughs> But uh, I do have a pretty cool series coming out. I've been traveling around Sri Lanka for an entire month and unfortunately my trip is coming to an end now. So I'm getting ready to leave. These are my, I leave in two days. So I just wanted to record a video about driving a tuk-tuk because this is so freaking cool. I, I love this. So I just wanted to share my experience and what it's like to drive this. But you can look forward to a full series. I'm gonna make about 10 episodes of what it's like to travel around here in Sri Lanka. Each episode is probably gonna be around 15 minutes, so if you're interested, those are coming very soon. It's gonna take me some time to edit, so hang on tight. The next video you can expect is actually gonna be a little sponsored video from Joby, which is the company that makes my Gorilla Pod, the flexible tripod, because they have a brand new product that just launched, and I was the first person in the world Maybe not the first person, but I was one of the first people to get my hands on it and uh, I made a video about it. So that's what's coming next and then I'll share my Sri Lanka series. So until then, make sure to subscribe, share it with a friend, do whatever you want. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.